Hello guys, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you two methods on how to reset the Arduino. The first way is how you can reset the Arduino. The other way is how another microcontroller can reset the Arduino and also how the Arduino itself can reset the Arduino. So those are two ways. And so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so here is the Arduino. And so basically the Arduino already has a piece of code uploaded into it. And basically what it does is it only allows this pin 13 LED to only turn on once. After it turns on, it turns back off. It won't turn back on unless you reset the Arduino. And so if this LED turns back on, then we know that we have successfully reset the Arduino. And so basically all you have to do to reset the Arduino is you just have to press this button right here. And you can see some LEDs flash and then you can see this LED turn on. It's gonna turn off and then it's gonna turn off and it's not gonna turn back on unless you restart the Arduino again. Now reset it again and it, re it restarted again. And so that's how you can restart the Arduino pretty quickly by just pressing this button over here. And so now, how can a microcontroller reset the Arduino? How can another microcontroller reset the specific Arduino or how can the Arduino reset itself? And so basically how you can do this and that is you can connect a pin to the reset pin. So there's a pin on the power pins over here and it's called reset. That pin, you connect a wire to it and you connect to like another one of the digital pins on another microcontroller and it can reset the Arduino whenever it wants by just turning the reset pin low or turn it to G and D. And so basically all we're going to do is we're going to connect this wire to the G and D pins and it should reset the Arduino. Just, there you go. So the Arduino reset again because the LED turned on again. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you some code on how the Arduino can reset itself. And so basically all I'm going to do is going to connect this wire right here and I'm going to connect it to pin 12. The Arduino won't reset because this pin is not connected to G and D. It's just nothing. It's not high or low. And so it's just nothing. And so now whenever the Arduino connects this to G and D, then it would, the Arduino can automatically reset itself. And so we're going to go over there and look at the code. Okay, so now here's the code so that the Arduino can reset itself. And so basically here, we just do pin mode and we define our pin 13, which is our LED. We're going to be turning on that LED only once to show that we have restarted the Arduino. And so basically we just turn the LED high. We wait two seconds and then we turn it back off. And then the Arduino is going to leave this void setup and it's never going to come back in here un un until the Arduino is unplugged or reset. And so that's how the all the LED only turns on once. It never turns back on because it never goes back into this void setup unless it's reset. So then it's going to go into this void loop. And so then it's going to delay another two seconds. And then it's going to do pin mode, pin 12, output. So why do we do this? Why can we not just define this pin up here? Well, I found that actually when right when you define a pin, it automatically turns the pin to G and D or low. And so basically immediately right when you define pin 12, the pin will go low and it will start the Arduino. So if you do the pin mode up here, it's going to restart the Arduino before you even get down into the void loop. And so what you have to do is whenever you want to restart the Arduino, you define the pin that the reset pin is connected to. And then it's just going to reset and then we're just going to go through this void setup again. And so basically that is the code. And so now we're going to see it in action. Okay, so now here's the Arduino, and so basically I'm going to go ahead and download the code, and then the LED should start blinking right when the code is uploaded to the Arduino, and then the LED should turn on, and then it should restart again and blink these, these, and this pin 13 again, and then turn back on. Okay, and so basically what we're going to do is we're going to download it, and so now the code is uploading, and so there you go, there goes the LED, still flashing, and then the LED turns on, and it turns off, it should reset again, it just flashed, there you go, and then it turns on again, and so basically it's resetting, over and over and over again. And why the LEDs flash all of a sudden is that's what happens whenever the Arduino is reset or turned on or code is uploaded to it. This LED just blinks um, three or two times to tell that I guess code has been uploaded or it's been restarted. And so basically those are two methods on how to restart the Arduino. And so if you love this video, consider giving it a like. If you have any questions, comment down below. And also if you want to see more content like this, consider subscribing. I'll talk everything about the Arduino, so consider subscribing. So thank you guys. Have a great day. Bye.